carry on with me. I have my little friend here with me. And we just explored Hong Kong, so I can say I'm in Hong Kong. We only have a layover of like three hours. One of them is gone already. Right, Asha? What? One of the hours that we had here is gone, right? How much? Yeah, yeah, we have like yeah. two hours we, we left here. And it's 7 21 in the morning so yeah so we have like two hours left here so we're just exploring the airport and it's then we're terminal. gonna be it's actually a terminal and it's the size of cape town international airport it's a one so terminal. nice it's oh, ginormous God, it's so nice like they have automatic flushing <gasps> in the toilet they have it's a like... pit a what a pit it's a pit crazy major it's like the best little coffee shop in london really it's like a chain it's got the best food we should go check it out ever it's so yummy um so we're just walking around the airport we're gonna see what kind of cute shops they have and then you know one of my lashes oh there's a big ass hole now where <gasps> there you know if you brush it look i'm right it's just higher up i can see no, it no but a, a chunk fell out when i was in the airplane and i was like Ugh. yikes yeah anyway struggles already on my first day. Do you want day. sweets? I want to check what sweets they have. But um, yeah, so then we're going to take our connecting flight from Hong Kong to Bali, the actual destination. Why did I forget that? Yeah, so very, very exciting. That flight's five hours and then we'll be at our destination and I'll show you guys around Bali. So we landed in Bali and I currently look like a ghost because I'm trying to add some hydration to my skin. I dried, what? What? No. I dried up so badly in the flight, but we can revive it. I'm here in the taxi on the way to Ubud. So this part of Ubud, the Ubud vlog, is going to happen very, very soon. But we're in the taxi with my friend over here. <laughs> yeah, hi. And he's going to take us to Ubud now. right now in my place i'm gonna give you guys a little tour tomorrow when the sun is up um right now so we got to our places around half past six something to seven so we decided we're gonna shower you know do our things and then we're gonna get dressed because we passed through like the center of ubud which has like a really cute little markets and stores all like down the roads so we wanted to get some food and check out what they have there and then yeah that's what we're going to do now. So we all showered and dressed and ready to go. Aisha's almost ready. And let's see what's in the center of the boot. Okay, so this is the first place. It's the first night here in Bali. And we stopped at this place over here <coughs> called Warang Borneo because it's halal. Food is up. <laughs> kind of forgot to film it. It was so good. We had like a chicken chow mein with like a... It was like a rice noodle thing with a... Uh, no, the one was the rice, fried rice, fried rice, and the other one was chicken noodles. So good, guys. This is our first place. Oh, it's magical. Hi, guys. So it's like half past ten, and me and Aisha decided that we're gonna go for a late night swim. So I'm here by the pool in my cute little bebo <laughs> and just enjoying so tomorrow's gonna be a nice full day and the next day and the next day and the next day did you get my gist? anyway i'll see you So it is day two, the first morning here in Bali. We are chilling at the resort. Look at this incredible view behind me. It's actually insane. 
and we're gonna have our breakfast this morning and then we're gonna head on out to the markets but before that I'm gonna show you guys a little view well a tour of the place that I'm staying in <laughs> Let me show you guys our place. So this is the entrance. Here's the door. This is welcome. Here's the outside with a cute little swing. Here's the bed. Here's a little table. Let's go into the bathroom. So, here's the mirror. Hello. Cute little basin. Shower. This is the bath. Toilet. Little storage section. And we are back out again. Let's go outside. Oh, it's a slide door. <laughs> it's a cute little table. Little swing. And... There's Asha. <laughs> so, we are going back to the market today because we literally had an hour last night and we mainly went to get food. So today we are going to properly look at the market and get some gifts from my friends, my sister. Currently at the palace. Bottle opener. Yeah. <laughs> Love. This is my food at Bali Buddha. This looks like bacon or beef, but it's not. It's just halal beef. So, yay to having halal food. That's Aisha just enjoying her food. What did you order, Aisha? Grilled chicken. She orders chicken and chips like she's back in Cape Town and <laughs> at the Pakistani on the corner of the road when she's literally in Bali <laughs> at a health shop. <laughs> Could have ordered a salad or some shit. Like... Do I look like... <laughs> with this little motorbike I'm going to climb on it <laughs> Woo! <I don't> know. <laughs> okay okay it's just putting that out to me okay let me put my phone away <laughs> and then I'm gonna jump on here so fun fact I can't actually ride a bicycle so <laughs> I can't ride like ride those motorbikes myself but it was super fun I didn't want to risk actually having my phone out while I was on it because this is a new phone and I didn't want to 
break it a little fall or lose it mid ride but it was super super fun um, and I'm now on my way to the Kaveri Spa at the Udaya Resort this is how it's currently looking and I'm so excited can I just tell you okay so this is actually a very expensive spa you can pay at the markets like the Ubud market you can pay like 130 thousand uh, rupiah for like an hour massage or like a hundred thousand for an hour massage or two hours for 130 but i'm out here paying like one million two hundred thousand for this udaya spa but i actually wanted it for the flower bath specifically for the pictures and then i was like i might so i'll just get a massage for the experience so that's around one thousand two hundred rand. so that's relative Relatively the same for spas there in Cape Town, South Africa, but in Bali, you can literally get great massages at the markets for way cheaper. But yeah, I'm keen to see, I'm keen to see how this is. And it's a very really fancy place, so I'm very really excited. So this is the entrance to the Udaya Spa. I'm just having a seat over here because they have a welcome drink for me. We're going to the flower bath first and it's like half past six at night so the light's starting to go but I'm very very excited for this and I wanted a custom flower bath wow this oh it's beautiful at this resort Hello. Wow. <laughs> oh, look at this. There's a whole like Oh my gosh, this place is so beautiful. <gasps> wow. Hello. Hi, thanks. Hello. Hi. Ooh. <gasps> wow. So this is my bob. Ooh. Okay, so I'm back at my place of residence. And a little feedback on my experience at the Udaya Day Spa. The, what is it called? It's it's the Daya Resort and the Kevari Spa. Um, so it's beautiful. I do not regret doing the flower bath because I got the most beautiful pictures. But I feel like you don't really need to get the massage and the mask and stuff that I did. Because I feel like if you just get massages on the side of the road for cheaper, it's like you're not missing out much. So would I recommend spending the amount that I did? Probably not, but I would spend it on the flower bath. But you could also get the flower bath for cheap at other spas. You just need to go search on Instagram and you'll find some places. But I love, 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 love the flower bath. This is literally just for Instagram pictures though. Because I didn't know what I was doing for the rest of the time. It's a 45 minute you just chilling there in a bath with petals so i didn't know what i was doing there i was so bored i brought my phone in with me and i was editing the pictures because i was like i know i'm supposed to be zen and relaxed in this bath but i just got i was driving myself insane just sitting there looking at the wall so if you just want it for the instagram then it's amazing otherwise save your money and get your massages on the side of the road morning it is day three day three in bali and we are going to have a full day of checking out Ubud. So we're doing all the touristy things today. We are going to go to the Bali Swing. We're going to go to the rice paddies. We're going to go to a waterfall. Do some coffee tasting. And yeah, we're on our way to our first destination. Which is where? Bali Swing. Is Bali Swing our first destination? Pardon? Where are we going now? Bali Swing. Yeah, Aloha Ubud Swing. Okay, the Ubud Swing. It's not Bali Swing. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to Aloha Bali Swing, and then we'll see where things take we'll, us. Yeah, it's just gonna it's just gonna be a really nice day. I'm go I'm wearing this cute little like jumpsuit thing that I got from the Ubud Market, and it was 
70,000 which is like 70 rand in South Africa and yeah I feel cute <laughs> anyway <laughs> I should say that I am cute <laughs> anyway I'll show you guys a little bit of what we get up to today This is where you go and you hire out your dresses and then over here is the actual beautiful place. You can see the swing is over here. There's more. You overlook the city. Oh, this is stunning. Stunning. Aisha's getting her little pictures taken. There's the photographer. Aloha! Hi. Welcome to... Welcome to Aloha, Aloha Food! 